The change in enthalpy of a chemical reaction can also be estimated from bond energy data. Bond energy is the quantitative measure of bond strength. And by definition, bond energy is the amount of energy required to break one mole of bonds. Now we think about how can we use this to um, estimate the change in enthalpy of a particular reaction. Well, think about the fact that um, change in enthalpy is a state function. And if we have a reaction that's preceding the products, we can estimate the change in enthalpy um, of the reactants going to products by thinking about the summation of all the energy it takes to break all the bonds of all the reactants, such that they're individual atoms, um, and all the energy that is the summation of all the energy that is released when bonds are formed. We can think about this because bond energy is always endothermic, it always takes energy to break bonds, whereas bond formation, it's the same amount of energy that takes the bonds, only instead of being an endothermic change, it's an exothermic change, energy is released. So we can use um, tabulated data, bond energy data, uh, for bonds to estimate the change in enthalpy if we envision our reaction of all the reactants blasting apart and all the products coming together again um, as product. For example, a bond energy table like this might be used. Um, the hydrogen-hydrogen single bond energy is 436 kilojoules per mole. That means it takes 436 uh, kilojoules to break a hydrogen-hydrogen single bond or when a bond is formed um, from two hydrogen atoms, 436 kilojoules of energy will be released. So in this case, it takes 436 kilojoules to break the bond. In this case, upon bond formation, 436 kilojoules uh, per mole of energy would be released. That's how we interpret bond energy data. You can just read off the table. A nitrogen-nitrogen single bond would have a bond energy of 163 kilojoules uh, per mole. Or, for example, a carbon iodide single bond would have a bond energy of 213 kilojoules per mole. Uh, the bond energy, it is a measure of bond strength, and we know that multiple bonds are stronger. You can see here a carbon-carbon double bond has a bond energy of 602 and a carbon-carbon triple bond, a bond energy of 835. So the bond energy um, information can be read off bond energy tables. Now, thinking about how to use bond energy to calculate the change in enthalpy for a reaction, we think about the fact that we can sum up um, all of the bond energies for all of the bonds um, within the reactants and that's all going to be an endothermic value. And all of these bond energy uh, uh, data is read off the table uh, as positive values. So if we want to add to that the bond energy of all the products, then we, because um, the products then are going to be exothermic, then the way that we write the reaction is just that the change in enthalpy of the reaction is equal to summation of all the bond energy of the reactants minus the summation of the bond energies of the products. This way we sum up all the bond energies that we read up right off the table. They're all going to be positive values, but if we subtract that summation, that's the same as adding the negative, which is what we need to do here.